see Biff's humble beginnings and how a trip to the racetrack on his 21st birthday made him a millionaire overnight. Horse racing is an extremely popular betting sport. People have been doing it for ages and the system to bet on a horse has never been easier. I am sure there are people you know who do this and it is often advertised as well. Is there a surefire system to win often and a lot? Here's how to make $1 billion on horse racing. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Risk Intelligence before we talk about a system to make you $1 billion on horse race betting, you should first understand what risk intelligence is and if you or a colleague has this ability. Dylan Evans interviewed gamblers and found that there are three types of gamblers. There are first casual gamblers who do not bet a lot and do not lose a lot. Secondly, there are the problem gamblers who bet a lot and tend to lose everything on one throw of the die. Lastly, and more importantly for us, there are professional gamblers. Professional gamblers work according to a system which is not based on fun or emotion. The professional gamblers can also be broken up into three categories. There are the poker players who are the rock stars and psychologists of the gambling world. Then there are the black blackjack players who work according to systems, they tend to be private and a steward types. Lastly, we have the sports bettors, which is what we are interested in this video. In the 1980s, a study was conducted on a group of 30 men who would be at the Brandywine racetrack every race day. After four years, the study found that of the 30 men, 14 were good at forecasting race wins and the other 16 were not. It was established that those who were good at forecasting figured things out in their heads according to a complex linear equation, which the researchers called risk intelligence. Risk intelligence is not really about knowledge, but more about self-knowledge. Therefore, people with high IQs are not necessarily people with a high risk IQ, but people who have a high risk IQ have the only chance to make $1 billion, unless you use a computer system that works out the complex equation for you. The three ways of lowering risky bets. There are three ways of lowering risky bets. These three methods have been established through professional professionals who have studied gamblers. Method one is to have a threshold. In other words, have a line in the sand that you never cross. These thresholds could be never betting more than a certain percentage of money based on how probable the outcome is. For example, if there is a 60% chance of you making money, then you bet $60. If there is an 80% chance, then you bet $80. Another method may be to take the odds into account. The higher the odds of winning, the more you bet, and the lower the odds, the less you bet. You could also make a rule that you you never bet more than a percentage of money you have in your pool. There are many variables and you should set your thresholds based on averages and previous results based on the horse, the stable, and your own accuracy. Method two is to make the sizes of your bets proportional to your confidence. If you have established you have good risk IQ, then your best bet is to place your confidence into a percentage bracket. For example, if you feel there is a 70% chance of a win, then you bet 70% of your betting pool. But if you feel feel there is only a 20% chance of a win, then bet an amount you are willing to lose. Remember, the lower the odds are, the better the payout. You stand an 80% chance of losing, but if you win, then the payout may be massive based on the odds. Method three is to work out what you think the average payback from your bet would be if you were to hypothetically place the same bet an infinite number of times. For example, if you were to bet on a horse forever, what percentage chance would that horse have of winning? Thinking in this way makes your risk IQ work better and you will figure out a percentage that makes your current bet easier. Here, it is better to think in terms of more than 50% or less than 50%. If you feel the chances long term are less than 50%, then do not place bets on that horse. On the other hand, if you have a field of 10 horses and the chances of any of them winning long term is less than 50%, then the one closest to 50% is still more likely to win now, so bet on that one. Now, let's have a look at some specific risk IQ systems that can be used to win on horses. Quinton Franks Racing. Quinton Franks is an example of a man with either a high risk IQ or a system that imitates a high risk IQ effectively, but it is probably a bit of both. Look 
look for him on the bettinggods.com. The only issue is that to receive his tips will cost you $66 per month. But with his return on investment, your return should cover that easily if you bet enough to make a reasonable profit. The returns on bets are practically good with an average 16.18% return on investment. From 2015, there have been steady upward gains. For as little as $10 stakes, punters could make over $10,000 in profit. SmartSportsTrader.com has the following to say about Quinton Franks Racing in 2021. The results of Quinton Franks Racing Service have been excellent over the three-month trial period. A 50% return on your investment is exceptional when betting with best odds guaranteed bookmakers. The fact that the service also made a 23.37% return on investment to the Betfair SP prices shows that even those limited with the majority of bookmakers can still make a nice profit following this service. Quinton Franks Racing is an excellent service that offers great value. The only issue for some may be getting the odds for BOG bookmakers as they tend to move very quickly. The best way to stay on top of this is to get a Gmail account and allow notifications on your desktop or phone so you can react to emails as quickly as possible. The service is consistent and emails are sent out every morning, usually between 9 and 11 a.m. If there are no bets, you might receive an email the day before to tell you so. I highly recommend this service. It is very well run and has a good track record with results going back to 2014 and during this trial, the results have been exceptional. It gets a top rating for me, Bet All Chemist. At Bet All Chemist, members have enjoyed a run of 15 out of 18 winning months since December 2015. That is a strike rate of 83%. That means they average 8 profitable months a year. If you were to continuously back up their tips, you could make substantial gains. But Alchemist had a return on investment of 18.6 in 2017, 6.74% in 2018 and 22.69% in 2019. But Alchemist will cost you $55 a month. The good part is that if you do not make any money in the 30 days, you get your money back. MikeCruxshank.com has the following to say about Bet All Chemist. There is no tipster service on earth that guarantees profits every time. The nature of this way of betting means that you will lose sometimes. Sometimes you just have to accept some losses and wait for the good times to roll. Having said that, Bet All chemist does a good job of keeping losses at a minimum by providing a lot of each way bets. This tipster stops the losses from building up. He also does a good job at finding value bets at attractive odds. Could bet all chemists be right for you? It really depends what you're looking for. This is a mid to long term strategy based on getting bets at better odds than they should be. It is a system that has worked in the past and should keep on working. However, some people don't have the patience for value bets. If you want to win every single time, then you might get frustrated by this approach. In this case, matched betting is likely to suit you better. How to make $1 billion betting on horses. There are more sites out there that use Risk IQ to determine odds. These include Early Odds, Master Racing Tipster, and Profit Maximizer. The point of it all is to find a way to determine how to bet on the correct horses most of the time. We recommend you first do dry betting, where you write down the names of the horses and in what order they will finish. Decide how much you would have bet on them and then see if you would have made money. Keep doing this until you either start finding a system or you may find you are a natural at determining the risks. When it comes to making a billion dollars on horse racing, we suggest you use a system that always leaves you with more money than you made. For example, if you had $1,000 and by winning you made $100, then you have $1,100. For your next race, bet only $60 so that if you lose, you still have a profit. Never put a massive amount on a single race because winning big can also mean losing big. Lastly, once you have worked out a system, think about publishing an ebook on how to make money in horse races and if you find you are very good, create your own site where people pay subscriptions to get your tips. Just like with Quentin Franks, you are still making money from horse racing, are you not? Play it cool, listen to those who may have a better risk IQ than you and build your money up smartly the way any investor would. If you play it smart, you may find yourself with $1 billion in your bank account, but you will have to work at it. I hope I helped you today. We would like to see our subscribers and viewers succeed in life. I am optimistic that I will see you back soon again.